Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today's practice is going to be a wake up cool morning flow. So this is going to be a quick little vinyasa flow that is going to get you moving, warmed up for the day and set you up for an awesome day. We're going to start seated, so however a comfortable seat looks for you, cross leg is not comfy, don't do it, do something else, it's all good. Relax your hands wherever feels most natural, roll the shoulders up back and down, close the eyes or settle the gaze, take a big breath in and sigh on out, full breath filling up the body, sighing out the night's sleep. Taking this opportunity to drop into the body. Noticing how we feel today. And then resting your attention onto your breath. And as you do that, you might naturally begin to deepen it and go with that. Maybe set an, in, an intention for today's practice. Something that you'd like to invite more of into your life. Whatever that may be, maybe you can boil it down to one word. Strength, focus, love. And as you breathe in, breathe in your intention. And as you breathe out, breathing out stress, worries, difficulties. In with your intention, out with the stuff you don't need. Lovely, we'll start with a little bit of movement now. So bringing the, knee, the hands onto the knees. I'm gonna take a seated cat cow. You can do this kneeling too. So as you inhale, bringing the chest forwards, lifting the heart. And as you exhale, chin to chest, lean back. Lovely, inhale, bringing it forwards. And as you exhale, chin to chest, round in the back. Lovely, inhale, stretching that front side, draw the shoulder blades together. Exhale, pull the belly in. Round in the back. Let's take one more inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale to a neutral place. We're going to come to an all fours position. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath hips. Tucking the toes and then pressing the weight of your body back onto those toes. Nice. From here you might want to pick up one knee. Test out those toes, pick up the other knee, and find a little hover of those knees, makes it a little bit more intense. Good, and then dropping the knees down, we're gonna take a toe stretch. So you can stay here, you can stay here, or we've done it quite a few times before, hands up onto the thighs, shoulders away from ears, and then just make sure all your toes are getting a little bit of a stretch. So if you've got like a rogue <laughs> little toe, flick it under, awesome. And then from here, we're going to reach the hands up and overhead. As you exhale, bringing the right hand down, stretch your left arm up and over. Lovely, big breath. As you exhale, circle this left arm down. Maybe you can brush them out. Maybe your knees, maybe not. And then up and over. Good, let's take one more circle. See how that feels on the back of the shoulder, the waist. Oh, it feels so nice. Lovely, and then inhale, come up, opposite side, so left hand down, right hand over. Nice big stretch, and then circle it on down. See how that feels on the back. Lovely, one more circle. Good, inhale. Good, and then slowly coming all the way back up, reach the hands high, and then cactus out the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together, wonderful. Interlace the fingers behind. 
lifting the heart. Good, opening up through the biceps as well as the chest. Lovely, bringing the hands out in front, tucking the toe, untucking the toes, give them a little tap out, a little roll out of the ankles, spread the fingers wide, tucking the toes, and then finding your first downward facing dog of the practice of the day maybe. So kind of feel into your dog, how is that doing today? Keep the elbows a little bit soft. So we use our biceps and triceps and don't kind of hang into our shoulder joint. Wonderful. From here, as you inhale, float your right leg back and up in space. As you exhale, step it in between the hands. Drop the back knee, untuck the toe. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale to settle down into it, relax the shoulders. Imagine your pelvis was heavy and you're sinking into it. Keep it nice and easy. Good. You're gonna use your right hand to grab your left wrist and then you're gonna pull yourself over to the right. So you get a nice big stretch all the way down your left hand side. Wonderful. Inhale, reaching the hands high. Exhale, hands to mat, step it back to a downward facing dog. Good, reset. Inhale, left leg floats high with intention. Exhale to step it on through with control. Drop the back knee, untuck the toe. In breath picks you up. Exhale, find your softness, find your ease. Relax the shoulders, good. Grab a hold of your right wrist with your left hand and then pull yourself over to the left. Getting a nice big stretch all the way down the waist. You might feel it into the side of the hip as well. Wonderful. Inhale, both hands high. Exhale, hands to mat and step it back to a downward facing dog. Pedal it on out. Perfect, from here you're gonna to tiptoe your feet towards your hands in as many steps as you need. Take a slow, sassy walk to the top. Let the head go, release the shoulders. Head is heavy, good, soften the knees and then slowly begin to rebuild yourself one vertebrae at a time. No rush, no race. Inhale, reaching the hands high up over the head, stand tall. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Awesome, big toes to touch, heels slightly apart, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, reach the prayer high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands press onto those shins. Exhale, plant the hands, step the feet back, high plank. Take a breath in plank. And as you exhale, drop the knees. Untuck the toes, lowering all the way down. Inhale, lift in the chest, lengthen the front side. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Inhale, float your right leg high. Exhale, to step it in between the hands. Inhale, your right hand is gonna reach up towards the sky. Exhale, to place it down. Zip up through the belly, inhale, high lunge. Reach those hands high, and then interlace your fingers and bring them to the back of the head. Awesome, elbows drop out to the side. Take a little back bend here, find your balance. It's almost like taking a big yawn for the body. Lovely, big breath in. And as you exhale, release the hands and find warrior two. So drop the back heel, open out the arms, shoulders roll away from the ears. From here, giving yourself a little bit of a squeeze, so walking the hands around you. Give yourself a hug, keep the legs strong. Good, and then really breathe deep. You feel an opening in the back of the shoulder. Good, from here, taking the arms out and back into your warrior two. Straightening up that front leg, reach out of the hip as far as you can. Right hand down. Left hand up into your triangle, leaning back. Even distribution of the weight in the feet if you can. So really kind of find your feet here. Good, take a breath. As you exhale, you're gonna spiral this top hand down 
to frame that front foot, plant your hands, step it back to a downward facing dog. Wonderful. Inhale, bring it forwards to a high plank. Exhale, drop the knees, lower down, core engaged. Inhale to lengthen the front side. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Wonderful. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step it on through. On the in breath, your left hand reaches for the sky into a twist. On the exhale, bring it down to the mat. Zip up the belly, prepare, inhale, high lunge. Exhale, interlace the fingers, bring them to the back of the head and relax the weight of the head into the hands. Feel that nice opening in the front of the chest, the front of the right hip. Head can relax, big breath in. Exhale, release the hands. Drop your back heel and open up the arms into your warrior two. So nice wide stance, strong back leg. Awesome. And then from here, going for that hug. So bringing the arms across one another, hugging, walking the fingertips around the back. Big breaths. So those legs are doing some work as we're stretching out those shoulders. Wonderful. And then releasing the arms out, straightening up that front leg, reach out of the hip as far as you can. You might hear a little pop of your hip there. And then the left hand tips down, maybe you get to your knee, your shin, maybe even down to the foot. Right hand reaches up. The traditional dristi or gazing point is towards this top thumb. But if that hurts your neck, don't do it, look wherever you like, but just rest your eyes until one point. Good, take a big breath. And as you exhale, circle this top hand down nice and slow to frame your front foot, step it back to a downward facing dog. Well done, nice. Inhale, forwards to a high plank. Option to use the knees or lower down through chaturanga, so elbows brush your ribs. Inhale, flip the feet. Open through the chest, exhale back, downward facing dog, nice. Inhale, bend the knees, look forwards as you exhale, step or jump to the top. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. And as you exhale, fold, release the neck. Good, inhale, rise all the way up, make it big. Scoop up that energy for the day and bring it all the way back down to the heart on the exhale, awesome. From here, take a nice wide stance. So ideally you want your wrists over your ankles. I think that's quite a nice gauge of like where your feet should be. And then turn your toes ever so slightly out. Perfect, from here, come down, take a seat into your goddess legs. Right, so check in with your knees. You want them tracking over your second toe. So if you need to kind of switch up where the feet are, please go for it and then lengthen the tailbone down and draw the pubic bone up towards the belly button. So there's that core engagement that gives you a slight tuck of the tailbone almost. Lovely, hands can be on the hips, on the thighs, the heart if you want more, goddess arms as well. Active in those fingertips, shoulders back and down. And you can take a little sway from side to side, giving us a little bit of heat in the legs. Wonderful, take a nice big breath. Exhale, hands are gonna come onto the thighs and then slide them down and away. Good, slightly lean forwards here. You can place some weight into your hands, almost like you're resting onto your hands. Take a breath. And as you exhale, drop your right shoulder to the center, straighten up your right arm and look over behind you. Should feel good on that hip and on the back. Lovely, inhale through center. Drop that left shoulder looking behind. Straighten up that left arm and press into your left knee. Good, inhale through center. As you exhale, sit a little bit lower and then straighten up the legs, turning the toes ever so slightly inwards. Inhale, reaching the hands high. And as you exhale, forward fold. Lovely, hands down to the mat, a brick, a stack of books, whatever you 
kind of lead here let the head drop down inhale lengthen through the side body exhale fold a little deeper relax the head shifting the weight forwards into the toes and enjoy that stretch all the way down the back of the legs lovely maybe for some of us we bend into one knee deeply and then the other that might feel kind of good working into the hips and the groin a little more lovely and then when you've had a little bit of an exploration come through center allow yourself to fold a little deeper head is entirely heavy no need to keep that head up wonderful and then coming up onto the fingertips you're going to heel toe your feet a little bit closer together so they're kind of yogi squat distance dropping the sit bones down between the heels opening through the chest wonderful hands come to heart center push those palms together lovely bringing your right hand out to the right keep it in front of your knee really important and then your left hand is going to reach back and up now imagine someone had your hands in there pulling you in opposite directions so not only will we be opening the shoulder but also into the opposite hip for some of us you might want to bring this hand all the way behind and grab for your hip crease or your t-shirt lovely coming back through center reset realign refocus if you need and then left hand to the left Keep it in front of that knee, very, very important. And then that right hand is gonna reach up. Someone's got your wrists and they're opening you up and pulling you into the day. <laughs> Good, this top hand can come behind if you wish. You might have it on this side. It might be like a bit more tricky. Good, one more breath. Exhale, hands to heart, reset, reopen that chest. Wonderful, and then bringing the hands behind, dropping those sit bones down, feet flat on the mat, take a little kind of rock from side to side, release those hips, good. And then from here, we're gonna bring the soles of the feet together, take the knees out wide. If this is aggravating on knees, bring your feet further away. Otherwise, interlace your fingers, wrap them around your toes, and then sit up nice and tall. And as you do that, you might feel a nice stretch on the top of the shoulder. Good, take a nice big breath. And then as you exhale, leaning forwards, you can use your elbows in your inner thighs to prise open those hips. So this is a hip opener and not a knee opener. So if you're feeling it in the knee, back off. So just be really kind to yourself. Try not to force yourself into anything your body doesn't want to do. Every single time we step onto our mat, it's a different experience. Some days our body's into it. Some days it's like, no, 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 thank you. <laughs> Lovely, inhale, coming all the way back up. Closing up the knees like a book. And give yourself a little bit of a squeeze here. Awesome, let's take a little bit of a twist. So reaching your left hand back up and over, finding the floor or a brick if the floor's far away. Sit up tall and then twisting a little bit more. Lovely, inhale, reaching it back up and over. Right hand reaches back, finding the floor or a brick, prop yourself up and then draw the belly in to twist a little more. Good, reaching the hand back, up, over. Give yourself a squeeze. Awesome, we're gonna take a, fun a funky little transition here. It's gonna be fun, hopefully. <laughs> so you're gonna find your sit bones, your toes are on the mat, hands are onto the back of the thighs, but remember the toes can be there if you need. So boat pose, nice proud chest. From here, bring your hands away and we're gonna come to standing. So we're gonna rock and roll to standing three times. So I'll demonstrate this first one if you just wanna hold this boat and watch. We're gonna roll back, we're gonna propel ourselves onto our feet, see if you can not use your hands and come to standing and then back again. 
So to come down, we're gonna bend the knees, slowly come on down and then propel yourself forwards again. So let's do three together. So we're in our boat pose, big breath. Exhale, roll on back. Propel yourself forwards to standing. It's a little bit of core work. It's a really nice way to like refresh and wake up the body. Good, and don't worry if you have to use your hands to come on up. You're still working and with practice and time, you'll get there. So taking that last one, you're gonna end up back in your boat pose. Lovely, proud chest. Well done, everyone. Take a nice big breath in. Exhale, dropping the feet, taking a comfortable seat, whatever you began in. Hands rest somewhere comfortable. Close the eyes. Big breath in. And sigh it out. <sighs> Noticing how the body feels now. And coming back to your intention that you maybe set at the beginning. And keeping that intention with us for the rest of our day. Inviting it into our everyday life. Bringing the hands together at heart centre. Bow the head to the heart and really do thank yourself for carving out your precious time and your precious energy to look after both your mind and your body today. Blinking the eyes open. Thank you so, so much for sharing your practice with me today. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a little thumbs up and I'll see you on tomorrow's flow. Bye guys.